Good afternoon. This is your Doctor of Liberty, John Hilston, coming at you from outside the Ainsley Wilcox house in Buffalo, New York. Uh, you might say, what's that have to do with anything? Uh, well, it happens to be the Theodore Roosevelt inaugural National Historic Site. Uh, and of course, most presidents are inaugurated in now January, then March uh, in Washington, D.C., but this one happened uh, due to an uh, unfortunate tragedy. Uh, President McKinley was attending the Pan American Exposition, which was a proud moment both for Buffalo as well as the United States in hosting the International Exposition. Anyways, a, uh, an anarchist, a uh, guy named Leon, and the pronunciation is challenging, but Cho'gosh uh, decided that he wanted to see anarchy, uh, and so he approached the president with um, President McKinley with uh, a gun at the exposition and uh, shot him on September 6, 1901. Uh, McKinley lingered uh, for about eight days and then passed away. Uh, and Roosevelt, uh, pres uh, vice president at the time, Theodore Roosevelt, uh, uh, hurried to Buffalo, New York here and stayed with his friend in this house. Uh, and it was decided, uh, even though officially when the president passes away, the vice president becomes president automatically, that he would take the oath of office here, uh, you know, to show continuity of government and so on. Uh, so that's exactly what happened. Uh, Roosevelt, along with actually a number of cabinet members were present as well, uh, took the oath here and then uh, went back to Washington a couple days later and had a pretty consequential presidency. Uh, anyways, uh, so this is one of the lesser known assassinations, of course, compared with uh, the uh, Kennedy or Lincoln ones. Uh, this is your Dr. Liberty. I'm out.